Hey guys, it's Jason with Your Tech Explained, and today I've got my hands on the ZTE Axon M. It's been a while since anyone has taken a stab at a dual screen phone, and the Axon M is the latest attempt from ZTE. Now that it's out, you might be wondering, what can you do with a dual screen phone? Keep watching to find out. Double the screens means double the fun, right? Unfortunately, with an open face design with displays on both sides, it also means you have to worry twice as much about scratches. I already noticed a couple of scratches on the back of mine after a couple weeks of usage without any protection. Making a case or a screen protector more of a necessity. The hinge is very sturdy though and works great. ZTE rates it for 20,000 openings, so it should last you a few years no problem. ZTE has put a lot of thought into the software by offering an M button in the navigation keys, allowing you to utilize the two screens to show two different apps at once, one large screen with a seam down the middle, or mirror the same thing on both screens. However, one downside is it can be a little slow when switching modes. Now that you have two screens, here's what you can do with it and how it's better than split screen mode in Android. Well, for starters, not every app is compatible with split screen mode. For example, the Xfinity TV app is not compatible, and neither is Skype. With the Axon M, that's not an issue. You can run the Xfinity app just fine on the second screen, and the same goes with Skype. There are plenty of usage scenarios here with the ability to run two apps at once without limitations. One of my favorites was watching videos or playing games in full screen while texting friends, and with stereo speakers, it is great for media consumption. You can also browse two different social media platforms at once, or use it to stay caught up on the news by browsing multiple sources at once, or keeping your schedule straight by viewing your email and calendar without jumping back and forth. The possibilities are limited only by your personal needs or imagination. Another way having two screens is better than split screen is that in split screen your apps are made smaller and don't fit properly into those smaller windows. Even on the largest displays you won't get to see both apps fully. Well, on the Axon M, you get to see both of your apps in the proper aspect ratio and they fit the screen just right. The keyboard also won't cause the app on the top to slide off the screen like when you're in split screen mode. The rest of the modes on the Axon M I didn't find to be quite as useful. Extended A appeals to the crowd that wants a tablet in their pocket, and I'd be right there with them if it weren't for the seam down the middle. I use this mode very rarely to play videos and didn't care to use it much because the seam and the huge black bars from the aspect ratio when unfolded. Some might prefer to use it to view websites and read books, as long as they can get past the seam from the bezels. Mirrored mode was pretty much useless to me. I couldn't come up with a use for this, but I'm sure some of you out there can, and if you can, then more power to you. ZTE has included some gestures to increase the usability, like one that will let you swap between dual screen and extended screen modes that works great. All you have to do is swipe the navigation keys to activate it. Another is a three finger swipe to swap apps between the screens in dual screen mode. This one I was rarely ever able to make work, and it's a real shame because it was the one I found myself wanting to use most often. Now for all the benefits the dual screen design brings, it also has its drawbacks. First, it's much thicker and heavier than most phones on the market, which you really can't get around at this point with it having two screens. Secondly, it only has one camera that can take a while to get launched when you want to use the rear camera. You also have to deal with flipping the phone back and forth when switching cameras. To make matters worse, the camera isn't even that great, and when you only have one camera pulling double duty, it really should be better. Even with an f1.8 aperture without optical image stabilization, you need to make sure your hands are nice and steady when you take photos to avoid blur. On the bright side, at least your selfie camera will be the same 20 megapixels your rear camera is. The Axon M is perfect for heavy multitaskers. The Snapdragon 821 and 4GB of RAM proved to be plenty of power for running multiple apps at once. Unfortunately, the battery life is the limiting factor here, with a 3180mAh battery. In traditional single screen mode, I was seeing close to 4 hours screen on time. But once I started using dual screen modes, the battery life got considerably worse, meaning if you really want to utilize both screens, you're going to have to be near a charger. Since previous attempts at a dual screen phone, a lot has changed. 
Phones have gotten faster, battery life has gotten better, and Android now natively supports multitasking. 2017 is probably one of the best times to try to introduce a dual screen phone. That doesn't mean it's exactly ready for prime time though. The Axon M still feels very much like a concept come to life at this point. The size, weight, and battery life will probably put most people off, but I think it's a great glimpse at what the future of smartphones could become. The next generations of this phone will only improve and can turn into something really special. If you're ready to take a chance on something new, different, and really fun despite some of the drawbacks, then pick one up from AT&T and take advantage of their $100 Visa gift card they are offering while you can. And as always, thanks for watching guys, hit the thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe for more.